Hey guys, Ryan here from Rocket Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. Well, welcome back for another episode of Bushcraft Gourmet. On the menu today is a New York strip pinwheel stuffed with prosciutto wrapped asparagus, gorgonzola cheese, and onions. We're gonna cook up a side of uh, red and brown potatoes with onions, and we're gonna top it all off with a red wine reduction. I'm gonna cook it all in a cast iron skillet right here on the fire. So let me get this scratched up, and we're gonna cook up some mad food today, guys. So stick around. going and start cutting up some veggies here first I'm gonna come up cut up some of this asparagus I don't know how much probably about half of this bunch so I just need it to uh, wrap inside the steak so I'm gonna cut these ends off a couple inches up goes for the animals and I'm gonna try to cut these the same width as the steak so that way when I place them inside um, they're not sticking up too far so I'm going to go right about there that should about do it see some of these tips all right I'm going to go and throw these just in the in the fry pan for now just to hold on to them now I'm going to cut up uh, this onion, I guess. It's kind of tough, guys, cooking outside. A little different. But I have a pretty good setup here, so it's not bad. Now, I'm gonna cut these up small to mix with the potatoes, but I'm gonna leave some bigger so I can layer it in with the asparagus inside the meat. So I'm gonna cut these up first. do is just save some some bigger slices that I can stick in there you'll see what I'm talking about after okay now I'm gonna cut up a shallot and then I'm gonna use I'll throw a little bit in there but then I'm gonna use it to um, for my red wine reduction so cut the ends off here Half. Peel off a little bit of the outer. The animals are going to be eating good tonight. And I'm going to chop these up fine.
Now these I'm not going to use till after, so I'm going to throw them in this other pot over here. Now, I guess I'll slice up some potatoes. Get some red bliss and some incredible spots on here. And uh, some brown potatoes, small ones. I did scrub these before, but you know, um, you know, I'm just going to slice these kind of thin because I don't want to cook them for a long time. So. I'm gonna throw these in this pot too. And I'll just separate them. Let me do a brown one. Fire's hot, guys. It's been going for a little bit. I don't know how this is, video is gonna come out. I mean, it's kind of tough with the camera angles and that kind of stuff. And uh, I know there is some background noise here. I mean, I am in my backyard, so now I guess I'll do some garlic. So I'm going to do a few cloves. All right, I'm just going to. Minced. All right, throw a little more in with the dummy. I'll throw the rest in with the onions for the potatoes. Next on the list is to get out my prosciutto. And I'm going to wrap some of this asparagus with prosciutto. You guys can see that. I'm just going to pull out like one slice. Just do some pain. All right. Do that for now. Now what I'm going to do is just make some thin slices. And then I'm going to kind of spiral wrap them around the, the asparagus. start with that. So I'm just going to take some of these spears, just kind of wrap them up a little bit and place them back in there. Just like that. You don't need too much. So I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but I usually don't show you know much of the prep work either so i kind of wanted to wanted to do that that's part of it you know um so i'm just wrapping away I think what i'll do i'll shut you guys off and i'll finish wrapping these up and uh and then i'll come back when we're ready to get the steak out and start cutting that okay hey guys i wrapped all my asparagus up well as much as i think i needed now I'm going to open some uh, gorgonzola cheese and I'm going to cut some slivers to put in the steak. We'll get this cut up and then uh, we'll get the steak out and we'll start going with that. You can see gorgonzola cheese. It's Stella. You can see that. I'm going to shave off some pieces like that. Kind of crumbly it's kind of like blue cheese in a way not quite as blue tasting i guess all right i'm gonna put this back in the package all right now i'm gonna get my steak out this is a uh, boneless sirloin strip steak certified angus beef 
Um, it is about, a, let me see. Yeah, it's a, almost a pound. Um, it's only about, it's probably like an inch and a half thick, something like that. You guys can see that. So it's from a butcher shop that um, is not too far from us. They have really good meats. It's usually every, every time I get meat, that's where I go. Um, it's, I kept it really cold, so it's a little bit stiff. If you can partially freeze it, um, so it's just, it's real firm, um, this works a lot better <clears throat> for cutting it, that's for sure. I'm gonna try to cut in and slice around and try to make, try to make it into a long um, strip. Ultimately, if you can have it about half an inch thick or so, that's probably gonna work the best. If you have any real fatty areas, you kinda wanna stay away from that because it'll fall apart. Just be gentle with it. I'll try to go around one more time here. Okay. So this is what we have. If you guys can see that, it's basically a big strip. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, take a little bit of my homemade seasoning that I put on everything. Every cooking video I've ever done, you guys have seen this stuff. It's just like um, meat rub and garlic and onion and like maple flavor and like just all kinds of stuff. And it just goes good with everything. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on here and rub it in really good. <clears throat> Kind of rub some in, I'll turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. And Okay, now I'm gonna start rolling this. So what I'm gonna do is take some asparagus here, put that in the middle. I'm gonna put a piece of cheese in there and I'm gonna try to compress that really well. And I'm just going to roll it little by little and just keep throwing more cheese and more stuff in there. And I'm going to try to stick an onion in there every once in a while. Roll it a little bit more. You want to try to get it as tight as you can. Um, help hold everything in there. What I'm gonna do is, uh, after I get this all done, I'm gonna take some um, cooking twine, which is like 100% cotton twine, basically. I'm gonna wrap it around there, tie it off really tight, and try to keep everything together, so. There's no real art to this. Um, as you can see, I'm not any kind of artist, that's for sure. And I've never made this before, so. I just kind of had the idea and I've, I've made like stuff similar so I'm kind of just going from what I've done before and I threw some more wood on the fire I got a great coal base so we should be good to go with that as soon as I'm ready again I don't want it to be too hot so I hope I'm not completely boring you guys. I hope you like this kind of thing. I'm gonna try to do it more and try to make, you know, get better at it, obviously. As far as filming and that kind of stuff. OK, 
Okay, I'm getting close to the end here. It looks like I made just enough asparagus. And that is that. Basically, I'm just going to take a piece about, I'm going to go extra long. I may wrap it twice if I can get to it. And I'm just going to wrap this baby. I'm going to try to do two. So try to go around the lower half first, pull that kind of tight, and go around the upper half, like that. Try to suck it in as tight as I can, and then we'll just tie it off. That's about it. Actually, I have some scissors. I'm going to cut off the excess so it doesn't burn up too much. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more seasoning on each side. Pat that in there, good. I'm going to flip it over. Same thing on the other side. I already had quite a bit on it because it was on the cutting board. I'm go ahead and rub the outside with it too some more. I just want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I appreciate it. This is kind of a new thing for me, so I'm kind of trying to feel it out, and I'm not going to know what I did right or what I did wrong until I go back and watch the footage and try to put a video together. So um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. So stick around. You know, this is going to be good. All right, my pan should be heating up. Still got my tea that I've been drinking. All right, I'm just ready to throw in some butter. Um, I have the little short sticks. They're um, the four tablespoons. So I'm just going to cut this in half. And that should be sufficient for now. Throw that in the pan. So what I'm going to do is just spread everything out to the outside as best I can because this fire is darn hot. I'm going to throw my steak right in the middle of that. Flip it back over. Just like that. I brought a little piece of foil out. I'm just going to lay over the top just to hold some of that heat in. Just throw that over it. There we go. I'm going to probably let that go for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. Um, the heat isn't too crazy hot, so probably about five minutes, and then I'll flip it. All right, let's see how she's doing. Ah. Potatoes are getting all browned up. Not looking too bad. I think I'm gonna flip her. What I try to do is get all my veggies out of the way. So that way I don't end up with any underneath it. Just like that. Get a pencil here. Try to get under that. Flip her over. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Looking good, guys. I'm gonna throw some more of these onions in there now. They like some kind of a little fresher. The other ones are cooking down a lot. Okay, guys, looking pretty good, as you can see. So I'm gonna set you guys over here. I'll show you what I'm doing. What I'm gonna do is take my tin foil. I'm going to lay that on here and I'm going to put the steak right on it. And then I can wrap that up and let it sit. Okay. Set this baby up here. I'm going to quickly take the meat off. And set it on here. I'm going to scrape some of this stuff out of this pan a little bit. What I'm going to do is put my veggies in this other little pot here for now so I can make the red wine glaze. Oh, these veggies look amazing. You guys see that? Okay, I'm going to throw these in here. Stir that up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of my butter and throw that in the pan. Let me wrap up the steak. You want to let the steak rest for a while anyway. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Wrap it up in this little towel here, kind of keep it, keep it warm a little bit. I have some collagen beef broth. I'm gonna open that with a can tapper so I can pour it out. Give it a little shake. I'm just gonna open that, get ready. Um, I have some uh, gnarly head, authentic red California wine, 2014. I just opened earlier. And I just have some uh, balsamic vinegar, onions and uh, garlic and shallots and I'm gonna throw those in that pan and let those cook up a little bit. Scrape that pan as best you can. And once we throw the wine in and stuff, that's gonna deglaze that pan anyways. We don't want the stuff to burn too much. Okay, I think we're ready to do the demi glaze. So, what we're going to do in is throw about um, half a cup or so of beef, beef broth. Something like that. Throw in a couple of tablespoons of um, balsamic. Let that cook up for a second. Let it get nice and hot. Now, I'm going to throw in about a cup of red wine. Give that a stir. Now that's going to clean up your pan too. When you do this, it's going to get all that good gook off your pan. So give that to a nice boil and it'll reduce it down. So it's going to thicken up a little bit and just get sweet and hearty and awesome. Okay guys, well, my demi glaze is pretty much done. So I'm going to plate this steak. Well, board this steak, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just like juicy as a mother. So 
I'm going to try to save that juice. In there. Let's snip off these uh, ties here. We'll slice it open and see what we got here. Oh, that looks magnificent. If you guys can see that, that's amazing. Amazing. I'm going to take a little bit of my gargonzola, just crumble a little bit more on the top. Like this. I like that cheese. I like that cheese, boy. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. I was really stressed out about it, but um, it didn't come out too bad. I'm going to pull these layers apart just a little. Kind of give you a little peek. Pour some of that juice right on there. Can't waste that juice. I'm gonna end up pouring it all over the table, but I don't really care. It's pretty good. My veggies been staying warm over here by the fire. These are looking pretty good too. Nice and browned up, it's just the way I like them. Throw these babies down. Oh yeah, guys. Eating like a king out here, guys. Like a king. Mad food. Hashtag mad food. I gotta keep saying that. That's gonna be my thing. That's gonna be a thing someday. Watch. All right. If you guys can see that. And some mad veggies in there. Let's get this glaze. Okay, and pour some of this over the top of that. She's a boiling. If you guys can see that, it's all syrupy. Little scallions and onions in there. All that good stuff. Yeah, it puts it on the veggies too. Use it all up, boy. All right. That's that. Okay. I'm gonna get my kooksa. And uh, pour a little bit of red wine in here. We'll do it right, you know what I'm saying? Do it right. Red wine and a kooksa. I wonder if that's the first time that's ever been done. <laughs> I'm getting fancy out of here, guys. Getting fancy. Take a little sip of that. Cheers. Oh, that's good wine, too. All right. I'm going to uh, put a little bit of spice left on here. Cut off a couple of pieces here. Not making a huge mess. Toss this up. I'm gonna have to take a couple picks for the thumbnail. For show. You guys can really see that it looks kind of like a big mess but i didn't bring a fork i have a spork but we'll try that let me try some of these veggies 
first here. Holy crap. Mad food. I'm telling you, that is unbelievable. Oh, so caramelized and... Wow. Like, holy wow. That is crazy. Let me try some of this meat here. With some prosciutto asparagus and... Now this is the center part, which is the least cooked. And it's rare, it's kind of rare. As you can see. Well, that's good with me. A little demi-glaze on it, you know, get a little piece of asparagus in there too. Nah, this damn spork isn't cooperating. But, if you guys can see that. Bon appetit. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say is holy wow. Let me try one of the outside pieces and see how that looks. With the cheese and, all right, you can see that. That's like medium, still a little bit of pink in the middle. Still awesome. Guys, this is probably one of the best things that I've ever eaten. Like, no lie. Yeah, wine is dang good. Well, I guess I'll end it here and stuff my face as I always do. But, uh, I'm going to take another bite first. So I'm going to sit here and keep stuff on my face as usual. And uh, I just want to thank all you guys for coming out. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to be doing more hiking, camping, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to be doing cooking videos, dehydrated videos here and at day camp. Um, so I just want to thank all of you for all your support. Um, I appreciate every single one of you and you all know who you are. Um, I love you all. So um friday nights frosty fridays we're still doing that live stream at 7 p.m eastern so join us for that and that's about it um i'm gonna eat mad food guys hashtag mad food m-a-a-d-f-o-o-d mad food rocket outdoors see you on the next one